So there has been a potential leak regarding a remake of a legendary game. Fans of this iconic racing franchise have been buzzing with excitement over a recent clue that hints at a possible remake of the beloved Need for Speed Most Wanted. Sometime last week, a series of intriguing teases were released that have set the gaming community on fire. While no official confirmation has been released by the developers, the rumours are generating massive anticipation among fans. The rumour that a remake of Need for Speed Most Wanted is in the works was leaked by the original voice actors of the game. The voice actors Dean McKenzie, who played the character of Sergeant Cross, and Simone Bailey, who played his assistant, called... Uh... Officer... I forgot. But who cares, because Officer Forgot and Sergeant Cross basically announced in a deleted social media post that Need for Speed Most Wanted is being remade and will be out in 2024. And just like that, word spread faster than Philip Schofield's downfall, and it was here when it dawned on me. Most modern gamers have never played this game. I imagine anyone under the age of 15 thinks that Most Wanted is the 2012 week. <laughs> so, for all of you Forza simping, Man City supporting, cringy spoiled rotten brats out there, listen the f*** up, as we take a moment to reminisce about what made the original Need for Speed Most Wanted so fantastic and legendary. Released back in 2005, this game quickly became a fan favourite, captivating millions of players worldwide. In fact, it has outsold every single Halo game. And your mom. What set Need for Speed Most Wanted apart from other racing titles was its exhilarating mix of high-speed pursuits, intense police chases, and an open-world environment that was begging to be explored. The game delivered a seamless blend of arcade-style racing, a gripping storyline, and a jaw-dropping car roster that left players hungry for more. But what exactly happened that kept players playing again and again? Well, let's start off with the story. The player arrives in Rockport City to participate in illegal street races and climb up the blacklist, a list of the city most notorious as racers. The story begins with the player's character getting involved in a race against a rival named Razor, a douchey, over-the-top, iconic, love-to-hate kind of character whose real name is Clarence. Oh, those brutal words hurt my skin. It is here when it's revealed that he is number 15 on the blacklist. He challenges you to a race, but before that, you must race and absolutely hammer his friends who are just as moronic, I mean, uh, iconic, as he is. And after that, he will finally agree to take you on on a 1v1 on Rust, I mean a pink slip race. During the race, Razor sabotages your car, causing you to lose, get busted by the police, and subsequently lose your prized vehicle. But you're not going to give up. That was your savage, amazing, totally badass and illegal car. More on that later. So, you do what any other legend would do and seek revenge. So you embark on a quest to work your way up the blacklist and challenge Razor for one more duel. To add insult to injury, he's now number one in your car. To achieve this, you must win races, defeat rival racers, and earn reputation points to attract the attention of Blacklist members. Throughout the game, the player encounters various characters, including Mia, a fellow racer, who assists you on a quest for payback, and someone who is definitely not a cop. And not to mention, the head of the street racing police unit, Sergeant Cross, a relentless police officer determined to bring down the illegal street racing scene. As the player progresses, they acquire new cars, customize and upgrade them, and participate in increasingly challenging races. They must evade the police, outmaneuver rival racers, and gain enough reputation to challenge higher ranked Blacklist members. Along the way, the player uncovers the truth about Razor's manipulation and forms alliances with other racers, ultimately leading to a climactic showdown against Razor to reclaim their lost car and secure the top spot of the Blacklist. But that's not how the story ends. Once you humble Razor, you get word that cops are showing up, and as Razor's arrested, Mia gives you the keys to your old M3, and you go on a massive police chase against every single unit in Rockport, which must have cost more than the entire budget of Ireland. The plot of New Studios 105 focuses on the player's journey for vengeance, redemption, and ultimate domination in the underground racing world, offering a thrilling and immersive racing experience in an open world setting. What's that? You don't like it? You think it's cliche? You prefer festival games where everyone is your bestie and you get everything handed to you? Ah, oh, well, you know what I say to that? Go f*** yourself. Go back to d riding Forza, you constant <laughs> Where was I? Oh yes, the car. The BMW M3 GTR holds a legendary status among Need for Speed enthusiasts, captivating players with its exceptional performance and sleek design. 
this iconic car played a pivotal role in the game's storyline, cementing its place in the hearts of racing game aficionados. In the game, the BMW M3 GTR is presented as the ultimate prize, a car coveted by both the player, character and their rival, Razor. It stands out with its striking blue and silver livery, aggressive body kit and roaring engine and straight cut gears that screams power and performance. The M3 GTR possesses outstanding acceleration, top speed and handling, making it a formidable machine in both races and pursuits. The inception of the BMW M3 GTR both in-game and in reality stirred controversy. While the car was a star in the virtual world, its real-world counterpart caused a stir in the motorsport community. The M3 GTR's appearance in the game was a result of a collaboration between EA and BMW, allowing players to experience the thrill of driving this coveted machine. However, in the world of racing, the BMW M3 GTR faced controversy due to its limited production and eligibility for competition. The car's controversy stemmed from the fact that it did not meet the production requirements for the GT class, yet it was homologated for racing through a road legal loophole. This sparked debates and criticism within the motorsport community questioning the fairness of its participation in certain racing events. It even caused some rival teams to cry to their mommies about it. Porsche! <coughs> because their 911s couldn't keep up with the OP M3. In fact, if their lives depended on it, they couldn't even hit two town. No, no, I'm not going there. Despite the controversy, the BMW M3 GTR's inclusion in Need Speed Most Wanted only highlighted its allure and contributed to the game's legendary status. It was an illegal, powerful masterpiece of engineering while also being an absolute outcast, making it the perfect fit for Need Speed Most Wanted. Now let's get talking about the cops, some of the best in video games, period. In Need Speed Most Wanted, the cops are a vital part of the gameplay, injecting danger and excitement into the illegal street racing world. The cops' mechanics revolve around high-speed pursuits and eluding capture. As players engage in illegal activities, the police will actively pursue them, with their presence escalating as the player's heat rises. The heat level reflects the player's variety and it increases with each unlawful action. The police employ various strategies and tools, such as patrol cars, roadblocks, bike trips, and even helicopters, to apprehend the player. The relentless pursuit aims to immobilize the player's vehicle and make an arrest. To escape, players must outmaneuver the cops, showcasing their driving skills and executing evasive maneuvers through the city streets. As the player advances and their heat level escalates, the police will become more aggressive and employ advanced tactics. More formidable police units, including SWAT teams and federal pursuit vehicles, join the chase, intensifying the challenge. Notably, the game features the character Cross, who makes appearances and communicates via the police radio scanner, providing players with valuable information about incoming threats. Successfully evading the police during a pursuit allows players to lower their heat level and evade arrest, and also will probably question Rockport's counsel about how much money they're putting into this bloody unit. However, if caught, players will be apprehended, reducing their current bounty hindering their progress in climbing the blacklist. You lose everything from the pursuit. You then have to pay a fine, and if you don't have any get out jail free cards, you get a strike. Get three of those, car gets impounded, and after some time, you buy the car back. The cops' mechanics and need to be most wanted created an exhilarating, intense experience, establishing a thrilling cat and mouse dynamic between players and the police, as they compete to outsmart and outmaneuver each other on the streets of Rockport City. Over the years, the game has garnered a dedicated fan base, inspiring fan art, cosplay, what, and even fan made mods. Need to be most modern became a symbol of pure racing excitement and a testament to the power of immersive gameplay and unforgettable moments. With the potential leak of a Need to be most modern remake, the gaming community is buzzing with excitement and speculation. Fans are eagerly awaiting official confirmation from the developers, hoping to relive the exhilaration and nostalgia of this legendary title with a modern twist. So, what do you think? Have you played Most Wanted 05 and loved it? Are you a Forza Waste man? Yeah, so it appears that Razor has gone onto Instagram and said he hasn't heard a thing yet about this potential rumour. So, uh, from the looks of things, and considering he is the main antagonist of the game, I'm not so sure that we're going to get a remake of Most Wanted. So, yeah... Although I really hope this happens, 
there's a strong chance I just wasted 10 minutes of your time. If you enjoyed wasting your 10 minutes on me, leave a like, comment down what you think about this whole situation, share it with your friends, and once you've done all that, remember to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all very soon.